Okay team, welcome back and good morning. It is our first lesson after our new probability unit and hopefully you found that really useful but you're looking forward to having a look at some older content again and bounce into some brand new stuff. Before we start I'd just like to remind you, presentation, you should have some paper, a pen, probably a black one and a green one. If you haven't got that, just make sure you've got something to write with and something to write on. It doesn't have to be a maths book. It could be line paper, squared paper, plain paper, if that's all you've got, but it's really important you're writing down all of your work. I expect you to have about two pages, so two sides of A4 by the end of this lesson and by the end of every single maths lesson. Make sure you're ticking and fixing. Like I say, if all your green pen inks run out because you're doing, making so many mistakes and improving, that's fine, just use any pen you want. Okay, quick reminder before we start, today is the first, um, well, we've got our first maths meet of the week um, at midday, that's 12 o'clock. You can access that by using the code TFS9MAT. Um, it's great, we had record numbers last week. I'm looking forward to seeing that improve again, um, especially for those that are really trying to get the ma maximum effort, the greatest score they possibly can out of their next assessment, which is coming up next week. You've got about a week today actually until you're going to be doing that. It's just going to be an extended MCQ. Okay, enough from me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this knowledge check on the board. I'll try and move my head out of the way so I'm not blocking any questions. And I'd like you to pause the video and give it your best shot. I'll give you a few hints and tips. If it's something you must do. When you're writing interior angles in a quadrilateral sum two, you must copy out that sentence and complete the gaps. Okay, rounding to the nearest 10. Let's get my pen back up. It never really works. I need one of those pads that can write. Is it close up to 50 or 60? Nearest tenth. Is it closer to 8.2? No, sorry, 0 0.8 or 0 0.9? Okay, last bit of support. If you're going to do that now and you want more support in a second, pause the video. That's fine. Okay, equivalent fractions. What do I multiply six by to get to 60? I multiply it by 10. If I multiply my denominator by 10, I must multiply my numerator by 10. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. Okay, last one, angles around a point, sum to 360. Pause the video team and best of luck. Okay, I'm about to go through the answers, so can I have green pens in the air? In five, four, three, two, one, go! And ticking and fixing. Interior angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. Ticking and fixing. Interior angles in a pentagon, pent meaning five, a five-sided polygon, sum to 540 degrees. Corresponding angles are equal. Co-interior angles sum to 180 degrees. Rounding questions on the board. Squiggly equals just means approximately equal to. First equivalent fraction and times in by 10. 5 times 10, oh, I get 50. Next one, I'm multiplying by 12. 3 times 12, I get 36. The next one, what do I multiply 20 by to get to 60? 20, 40, 60, 3. So I multiply my numerator by 3, 5, 10, 15. Multiply my numerator by 4, and multiply my denominator by 4, 9, 18, 27, 36. Final one, what do I times 7 by to get to 21? 7, 14, 21, 3. Denominator by 3, 12, 24, 36. Brilliant. Tick and fix those, pause the video if you need a little bit more time. This one here, proper chili. It's excellent to see some of you are getting there. Okay, ready to push on with the lesson now? I'm going to start just by a little bit of reminder from of this, but you would have only really seen this in a lot of depth if you come along to the live sessions. So here I've got a triangle. I know that the interior angles of a triangle sum to 180. I've shown you loads of methods. I want to show you one more that we're going to keep using now. I want to be times in it by 180, but I want to use my sides. 
So I'm going to use this. N equals the number of sides. The number of sides here equals 3. To get my answer of 180, I'm going to do angles, the interior angles, equals N take away 2 times 180. Sounds complicated, it's not. N equals 3. 3 take away 2 equals 1. Because n equals 3, I've got 3 take away 2 times 180. 1 times 180 is just 180. That's how I get my answer, 180 degrees. Okay, I want to use this formula now. I'd like you all to write down angles. You can write angles in a polygon equals bracket n take away 2 bracket times 180. Pause the video and do that for me too. This really, I'm just going to raise your ink. Should be angles in polygon. And then you've got n take away 2 times 180, but you must have your brackets. So this bit that I've put a little box around is why I expect you to have copied down. Okay, great. I'm going to do this in Silent Teacher. N take away two, ten take away two. Answer. So N is my number of sides. Deck means ten. I've also counted and I've got ten. Double check it works. Now I should have N take away two times one hundred and eighty. I know N equals ten, so I just substitute in ten for N. 10 take away 2 times 180. It's in brackets, so I do this bit first. 10 take away 2 equals 8. 8 times 180 equals 1440 degrees. You've got the formula there if you need to copy it down. Okay. Next set of problems. On the board, we have this we do. Um, I've scaffolded it, so we've got parts that you need to have to do the next step. What I would like you to do, team, is I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at these, but I will be doing them with you. Okay. So pause the video and do them as well as you can. You can all do 1 times 180, so you've got that. You can all do 4 take away 2 times 180, so you've got that. This one here, n take away 2, but you know n is 5, so you've got 5 take away 2. Okay, I'm going to start talking through these with you now. Okay, so this first one, I'll do a couple on here and then we'll bounce to the next screen. 1 times 180 is 180. Look at that thing. Okay, next, 4 take away 2 equals 2. I do it first because it's in brackets. 2 times 180. I get what? Brilliant, I get 360. Okay, the next one. I've got n take away 2 times 180. It's a pentagon. It's got 5 sides. n equals 5. 5 take away 2 times 180. 5 take away 2 equals 3. 3 times 180 equals 540. The last one is a hexagon. n equals 6. 6 take away 2 times 180. 6 take away 2 equals 4. 4 times 180 equals 720. Okay, before we use this to do a UD, normally this is where I do a conference score. We can't do that, so I'd like you to use the comment section for it today, team. But I would like a black or blue pen in the air, and we're going to carry on with our quick fire from yesterday.
So pens to paper, silent solo, three, two, one, go. You do not have to copy out the question. Okay, so to work out 50%, I divide by two. To work out 10%, I divide by 10. Okay, to increase by 10%, work out 10%, add it on. Pause the video team. So answer coming on the board, so I'd like green pens at the ready if you're ready. If not, pause the video and you can stop me from saying this. Green pens in three, two, one, go. Okay, answers on the board, I'd like you to tick and fix. Get my big head out of the way. Good. Hopefully you're smashing out just like yesterday. I've seen some really good scores coming in. Loads in the comment section, I've got one from Matt as well. Some really good scores where you're really impressing us. Okay. What I want to do now, team, is this. I'm going to put these problems on the board, exactly the same as the we do, but you've got one really hard chili there. I would like you to pause the video and I'd like you to complete these. You do not have to copy down the shape, but you must quite label them one, two, three, four, and show your working. Okay, so pause the video. If you're stuck, five take away two times 180. You can do that. Do the brackets first. The one below, do the brackets first. The next one, work out N, count the number of sides. Okay, green pens in three, two, one, go. Answers coming on the board, I'd like to tick and fix. Okay, answers are on the board team. I'd like you to tick and fix. We keep times in by 180, so we make that our password for today. So it's not 540, it's not gonna be nine. It's not 1,260, it's 180. Okay, so your answers are on the board. You can't see that second one because it's behind. You've got 540, 900, 1260, and 1,800. And our chili was 38. If you loved that chili, I'm gonna finish this lesson with just an optional set of chili questions. They're on the board now. You can have a go at them. You can bring any of your questions to today's live session. But pause the video if you want to have a go at them. If not, good luck on the MCQ. And I will see you tomorrow, team. Answers coming on the board for the chilies now. If you're still here, really proud of you. Okay, see you tomorrow, team, or I'll see you at the live session. Uh, as many people as possible. Have a great day. If I can finish how to stop it. <laughs>